other very popular questions I'm getting on forums and, and, and by email is how do I correct a weaker muscle that, that's weaker on one side. For example, my left bicep is weaker than my right. Now I can do eight reps with 50 pounds and six reps with 50 pounds. What do I do to correct it? Do I do more sets? Uh, well, first of all, train the weaker side first. I, I think that's obvious. Your nervous system is going to be fresher, so you have more energy, so you're going to be able to be, maybe do one more rep. Now, do you do more sets? No, because that will actually create more fatigue, might not be the right solution. The, personally, I'm really simple in that regard. My goal is to do the same amount of work for both sides. So, so well, do I go lighter with a weak side? Well, you could do it, but to me, that's not the right way to do things. The way I like to do things is either use a rest-pause method or use uh, an isometric hold. So, for example, if you know that you're going to do eight reps on the right side and you can only do six reps with the left side, what you do is you do your six reps, and when you can't do them anymore, you will rest maybe 10 seconds, then do two additional reps, rest pause style. And for the strong side, you would just do your eight straight, straight rep. So basically, you are doing the same workload for both sides. Uh, when you're starting using that method, you might actually go against what I just said earlier. You might start with a strong side to establish a baseline. So let's say I get, okay, I'm getting 10 reps with 50. I know I have to get 10 reps with 50 on that side. Okay, I only get seven. I'll rest 10 seconds. I can do two more. I'll rest 10 more seconds and you do one. So you try to get the same number of reps you did in that strong side. The other option you can use is to use an isometric hold on that weak side. So for example, let's say I get 10 reps here and I, I only get six here. So we know, well, let's say I only get eight. So we know that two reps is likely about six seconds. So I'm gonna hold that mid-range position for six seconds, squeezing the muscle as hard as possible. So you still get roughly the same amount of workload. So let's, let's count about three to four seconds per rep. But it's not enough to hold the position. You want to squeeze that muscle as hard as possible to learn to contract more fibers. Oftentimes, a lack of strength on one side is because you're less neurologically efficient at recruiting the muscles on that side. So that isometric contraction can teach your brain to recruit those fibers, but only if you're squeezing as hard as possible to get maximum muscle contraction. These are the two strategies I use more often when I try to correct a left to right imbalance.